Hi everyone, Curry here with your weekly oracle card reading. This reading is for August 13th to August 19th. And this week I'm going to be using the daily guidance from your angels, oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Now before I draw the cards and shuffle the deck, I wanted to start off um, with a couple of different things. The first thing I wanted to say is that, you know, I thank everybody for being so patient with me um, while I have not been online very often. I've been watching the equestrian portion of the uh, Olympics that's being taken place in London right now. And today is actually the last day that they're going to be doing um, horse related stuff um, involving the Olympics. Um, in fact, in about 10 minutes they're going to be doing the last portion so I should make this reading quickly um, but anyways um, I will be around and back online um, more often this week um, however from August 30th to August 4th um, oh, from August 30th to September 4th I'm going to be watching the Paralympics um, the equestrian portion of that so again with the times being very different um, with London and Tokyo, Japan, I'm up pretty much during the night. Some of them start at 10 o'clock or 10.30, 11 o'clock, and they won't be done until about maybe 1 a.m. So I haven't been going to sleep until about maybe 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So I just haven't been online recently because I have been watching um, the Olympics and will watch the Paralympics um, starting um, on the 30th of August. So, like I said, I do apologize for not being around online very much um, this past week or so, um, but I will be available this week for readings and I'll be replying to all of the emails that I have accumulated. If you don't hear back from me right away, it's because I'm just going down the list of how um, the order that um, chronological, chronological, well, I can't say it, chronological order. Um, so I will get your email, so just please be patient. Um, but anyways, so the second thing that I wanted to do before I draw the cards, um, there have been a lot of um, heavy emotions going around, especially with me. Um, again, watching the Olympics, I've been witnessing a lot of in my eyes, cruelty towards um, the horses, especially right now we're going through, um, what is it, the modern penithal, I don't know what it's called. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's the combination of fencing and swimming, horseback riding, and I think track. Um, I can't remember it. I don't have it written down. But anyways, Probably wouldn't be able to pronounce it even if I had it written down in front of me. But anyway, so there's been a lot of um, um, really bad riding going on, and a lot of people get in medals for things that just should not be happening um, to the horses. And um, these are things that have been written in a rule book, and they've been completely ignored, and I think it's because of the fame and the fortune of some of these riders. Um, but I'm not going to get too much into detail with it, but I wanted to, before, like I said, I draw the cards, I wanted to um, use my Tibetan singing bowl. This bowl is attuned to your heart chakra, and I just wanted everybody to close their eyes while I ring the bowl and really just listen to the melody of the bowl and take that vibration and bring it into your heart chakra. And let's lift up any of the heavy energy that might be in our heart chakra. Lift it up for transmutation to the angels. And then afterwards, I will read... Um, I'll do the oracle card reading. So I'm going to ring my bowl... Um, three times. I'm not going to make it sing. Um, I just want to do um, some taps to the bowl. But, you know, just get in the comfortable position right now. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Hold it just for a second. And then exhale out through your mouth. And then take another deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale. 
and take one more breath like that in through your nostrils. And exhale. And keep your eyes shut. And then just listen to the bell and bring this vibration into your heart chakra. And then take another deep breath in. And then on the exhale, let go of all of the worries and that heavy energy. <sighs> Wonderful. And then open your eyes. Okay, so as always, I'm going to draw three cards for the reading. The first card will be for Monday and Tuesday. The second card will be for Wednesday and Thursday, and then the final card will be for the weekend, being Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm just going to shuffle my deck and ask the angels what messages that they have for us this week. Okay, and they're saying that my deck is shuffled, and this card actually wanted to come out, so we're going to just have that one for our Monday and Tuesday. Okay. So for Monday and Tuesday, the angels say, <laughs> look at that, the heart chakra. Isn't that funny? Okay, so the card reads, love is in the heart, uh, I'm sorry, love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and to be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. So, I mean, that's just like great timing for from the angels after I just did that um, Tibetan and singing bowl ring. Um, so really, Monday and Tuesday, um, the angels are saying to really focus on a heart chakra. And it's funny because right as I was talking about that, I'm like clasping at my chest where your heart is. And then I just happen to look at the picture and the angel is doing the exact same thing. Um, so really, heart is very important for Monday and Tuesday. So really get in touch with, you know, your heart chakra, open it up, send love to people, and receive love from people, and receive love from yourself. So always just use that heart chakra in any of the situations that's going on right now in your life, and it can do with your career, it can do with your love life, it can do with self-improvement, self and it can do with other things, environmental factors. Like I said recently, I've been really feeling for the animals, um, for the equestrian events, and, you know, tonight, again, I'm going to be some seeing some really, really bad um, riding, I just know it, and I'm going to send love, and I'm going to send healing energy to these horses, um, and to the organizations who aren't doing anything to protect these horses' welfare, um, and this is their job to look after the welfare of the horse. So really, Monday and Tuesday, and even, you know, right now, if you're, you're viewing this and it's not yet Monday, um, Open up your heart chakra and just bring love into the situation. All right? So that's Monday and Tuesday. Now, Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. See only love. And the card reads, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. You, um, your resolute focus upon the love that underlines every situation brings about healing and undreamed I'm sorry in undreamed of ways 
Sorry, I read that kind of weird. Um, but again, the angels are telling us, see the love, use the love. And, you know, I just kind of bashed what's going on with the, the equestrian part of the Olympics right now. And the angels are just telling me to stop holding on to that anger. Stop holding on to that re um, resentment that I have and lift up and give that to the angels. And they'll make, you know, they'll transmutate it. And they will bring it back to me only in loving ways. And they will help the situation. They will start to heal the situation. So, again, you know, I'm preaching, but I'm not practicing, right? So I will start to try and only see the love within this situation. And I will, it'll be very hard for me because I do have so much passion towards these horses um, and towards horses in general. Um, so... The key for me is to really lift this up to the angels and ask angels for assistance. And anybody else that is going through this type of turmoil where they get upset very easily um, over matters that really yanks at their heart and, you know, blocks their heart chakra, ask for the angels to help you and see the love within the situation. And even if there's no love in the situation from the other people, um, then add love bring love into the situation so for example um, I'm using the horses again um, if the people riding are not seeing the love or they're not seeing the error in their ways then I can send healing loving energy to the situation for them and things might change if they're open to it if they hear the little voice inside their head if they hear the angels wings you know flapping in the background um, you know, that's one way that we can do it, that if the other person is not willing to heal or will not willing to accept, then it's up to us to accept their flaws and to send love to their flaws, and their flaws will start to be transmutated, hopefully. Um, hopefully the angels can do that, but again, they won't interfere with anybody's willpower, but the best thing that we can do is send love into the situation and try and see our love being sent into the situation. All right, so then finally for the weekend, we have... <laughs> My goodness, I mean, I'm loving this reading, everybody. I'm like going crazy. We have Cupid. And the card reads, we send great waves of love into your heart and, and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. All right, well, there is our message this week, everybody. And this is such a big message for me as well. Um, to open up our heart chakra, to send love, to see love within all of the situations in our life this week, and to accept love back to us. Start to use, you know, those loving waves that are coming to us and that are flowing from us to other people. Celebrate love, bring love in your life, and just do everything you can to open up your heart chakra today. And you know what? The angels are telling me to get out my bowl again and to make my bowl sing. So I'm going to do that, guys. So again, you can close your eyes if you'd like, or you can keep them open, whatever you feel comfortable doing. And this is going to just go straight to the heart chakra, and it's going to just fill everybody up with love. So remember these three cards. Picture your heart chakra right now. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. And let's have the angels and myself let this bowl sing. do that one more time guys and 
one more 